Hello friends, welcome to the tutorial series on Jest from Software Testing Help. As part of the agenda, we'll see how you can use Jest to mock API calls. We'll create a simple node-based JavaScript project which calls external API endpoint using the Axios module. We'll see how you can mock the Axios module using Jest. And finally, we'll see how you can use the verif to verify the mock that will be used to call that endpoint. So let's first try to understand what we want to achieve here. So suppose we have a function one which calls an external API endpoint, suppose a partner payment URL or something with some complex logic, but it is external to our system. And when we are writing unit test for the function one, that is function under test, we cannot call the external API endpoint all the times due to lot of challenges like it might involve cost it might not be available and things like that in order to do that you can always use a fake api endpoint what it also means is or probably a fake endpoint call it will return a predefined or stubbed response whatever is configured when while setting up the mock so let's get started we'll create a simple node po node package here i'm just creating a new directory mock API functions and I am initializing npm module here simply keep pressing enter here now let's open this project in visual studio code and we'll see a package.json file here This is nothing but configuration for npm. Let's install the just package here since so that will be a test runner. I'm using the command npm install save dev just. Once that's installed, I'm also running writing npm script with just watch all as the test runner so when you run npm test this is the command that will execute and watch all means it will keep monitoring all the changes in test and as soon as you save it will execute the test again we can see that dependency just is now added uh, i'll create two folders here source and test just to logically separate our app and test code i'll create a file name app.js and the test file name will be app.test.js this test extension is for just to identify whether there are any test files there in project so it will look for all .test extension files and run the tests that are available there now we are using axios module here axios module allows you to make it calls to external api endpoints or any hosted endpoint in order to do that you will have to Again, install this package and the command remains same and the package name is axios I'll say npm install save dev axios once that's installed you'll also see that's reflected in our package.json file you can see it here now let's write the code for this in order to use the axios package we'll need to have its object so I'll say require axios Let's create a function here, get user data and we are using an external API endpoint called request.in. This is nothing but a fake data API that's available over the internet and it can be used for any testing needs or load testing need to illustrate different concepts and this axios basically returns a promise or resolves as a promise so if it is success then it will come to this then block and i'll say console.log response.data and if it is error then it comes to catch block error and that's our function code so what we are doing here is we are doing a get 
operation on this endpoint and if it returns success we'll, we are logging the data returned by this response let's try running this and see what's the data that we are getting in order to do that i'll need to call this method here and uh, you can see here I'll use node app.js and you can see here that it's return, it has returned some data in response to that API call. So that's the response. Also, since we need to use this in our test, we'll need to export it as get user data. So now let's go to our test file where we can see that how we can mock this and just files always will begin with describe block, which is nothing but the test suite. Probably I'll name it as a mock API calls and I have a test. And uh, for better understanding, I'll simply write these blocks. Our app under test is. basically get you the data which is a function here now let's see how you can mock the module itself so you need to write just a mock axis So now what we have done is we have defined this mock and what it does is it mocks the entire Axios module. So now any call that goes to Axios module will be a mocked response. So now let's set up this mock data. So suppose I set up this mock data or probably let's rename it as mocked response and we'll return data data say suppose with username as test user and say suppose address field is India suppose this is the data that we want to return <clears throat> so now we have created a mock response now we have to set it up so we need to say whenever xs.get is ran and since it returns a promise so we need to say mock resolve value which is nothing that but the resolve value for the promise and i'll say mock response so this essentially is defining that when the code reaches in this block then this response should be one that we have set up in here okay now let's try running this we have act here okay so now let's try running this test i'll say npm test see that there are some failures it says cannot read property then of undefined so it's getting axios is undefined and reason probably is uh, we have declared this app before we have set up the mock that's the reason we need to do that and if I run it here now we can see that if this console.log it's showing me the correct value. So if we go to app.js, probably it's printing two times because we have this function called two times. But now we can see that 
you are getting this data printed as the one that we have mocked out. Now let's try writing asserts here. So first of all, let's assert that our mock was called. Since we can anyway say see the mock data, we know that it was called, but we can write these asserts as to have been called. And we can also assert that what was the endpoint it was called with. This is the practice generally that that's being done to ensure that things are working fine. So suppose since this is the endpoint that we expect, I'll just copy paste it here and run this test once again to see if it works. So I say it works. Let me try to change this endpoint say 200 will give me another okay. This is this was not the endpoint, but what it ran was with 200. So that's how we have set up a mock response for this endpoint. And if you want to see the real response, you can simply run the file as node app.js. And now, since we have removed this, uh, we need to write it enter again here because this does not get executed. And you can see that this is the original output that's from the external endpoint, while the test endpoint. Is returning this which we have set here in its mock response here. So that's how you can use to set up complex mocks using Jest. And here we have mocked the entire module here. So suppose your function uh, would have say multiple calls uh, using Axios, say Axios.get or Axios.post, etc. You could have mocked in the same way and basically mocked like other API endpoints or other HTTP methods as well. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you.